unveiling of the portrait bench at the Queen of the South, here at the Queen of the South Viaduct. This viaduct is a key part of the network of cycling paths developed by our council and Swestrands over the last five years. Their network of cycle paths in Dumfries is the envy of many similar sized towns in Scotland. Cycling is key to increasing sustainable and active travel in our region. Developing off-road cycle routes provide cyclists with a safer and cleaner environment, whether the, their use is commuting, leisure or social. Cycling is also a major component of our region's tourism product. Many people visiting using our regional and national cycle routes or they partake of more strenuous activity on the Seven Stains or world-class mountain bike trails at maybe A, Carochtry, Glentrill and Dalbeetic. Our Council has worked in partnership with Swestrands to enhance the interests of the Queen of the South Viaduct by portraying three people who have each been at the heart of their local community but had a wider impact. Jean Mundell was involved in community work for most of her adult life, receiving an MBE for services to her community. She served on the board of a local cooperative for more than 28 years, was a community councillor for Lockett Briggs and was a director of Nisdale Council of Voluntary Service. But it is as founder member of the food train that she will perhaps be best remembered. This wonderful local charity provides an invaluable service to the elderly and vulnerable, assisting them to stay in their own homes through its grocery delivery service. GM Barry is of course best remembered as the creator of Peter Pan, but he was one of the most successful authors and playwrights of his day. He attended Dumfries Academy, where he was a founder member of a drama club and wrote for the school magazine. It was in Dumfries that he played games of pirates in the garden of Mowbray, providing the inspiration for Peter Pan. His legacy lives on as he signed over his royalties from the play to the Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children. Across the viaduct, and we'll take a walk over there a bit later, we'll see the portrayal of Kirkpatrick Macmillan. Kirkpatrick Macmillan was a blacksmith from Kiev in the countryside to the north of Dumfries. Having devised a system of cranks to propel a hobby horse, he is credited with the invention of the Benfield bicycle. He could scarcely have imagined the impact that his invention would have. And of course, it is particularly significant that this week, in the 200th anniversary of the birth of Kirkpatrick Macmillan, the stars of the Tour of Britain, including Olympic champion Bradley Wiggins and world champion Matt Cavendish, will be racing through our region and into, of course, Dumfries Town. So, having been chosen by communities in Dumfries, I hope these, pe these three people are an inspiration to new generations. There will be a few words from Sestrans following on the back of my completing now before we go across the viaduct. But it now gives me great pleasure to unveil this portrait of the bench. Thank you very much. Cycling has an enormous profile, thanks to Chris Hoy and others. 
and it's great to see this project being celebrated by the opening of a Quatre French here in Dumfries. Over the bridge, as the councillor has mentioned, Kirkpatrick Macmillan now sits. We all owe a great deal to this man, not least Sustrans, who deliver projects that make cycling a more realistic option for, um, for everyone. Likewise, every child and many adults have a debt to J.M. Barry for firing our imaginations with tales of Peter and Wendy. Jean Mundell is an inspiring figure and it is great that people of Dumfries have thought to commemorate her with a statue. As the Sustrans engineer, I've been involved with this element of the project and I'd like to thank everyone involved for their hard work and persistence in delivering the scheme. As part of a whole branch of schemes, 79 in total throughout the whole of the UK, this one here in Dum Dumfries is the very first to be completed. So we're very happy that this is one of the ones to have their project completed too. Sustrans wants to see a world in which as many of us as we can make short journeys in ways that benefit our health and the environment by walking and cycling more. And there's no doubt that the route over this former railway bridge and these statues will add to people's enjoyment and quality of life as they get around Dumfries under their own steam. Finally, it's a pleasure to thank the Big Lottery, whose funding has made this Connect to scheme a possibility. Thank you very much. You have 200 today. <laughs> Who did that? That's, That's good. good. Not That's good. Bad. Bad. Yeah. Uh, the sun's kind of down the wrong place. This is my hospital.